subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. And welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, give you the latest, the latest, the hottest, the greatest news, the most descriptive, the most in-depth, the most insightful, the most eventful WWE news and rumors. Why? Because if there's one person that's going to do it, it is going to be Sean's view, and I'm going to bring it to each and every one of you on your cell phone, your laptop, your desktop, your PC, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever it may be, Sean's view entertainment is going to be your everyday answer to the hottest in WWE. Now, we do talk about rumors. We do talk about gossip, speculation, breaking news, headlines. We talk about it all. We cover it all. And then if there's something wrong or something not right or something not adding up, this is why we do multiple videos a day so you get the absolute latest, the newest, and the most upgraded. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the New Day is going to be repackaged as a heel faction. Yes. The New Day is going to be repurposed as a heel faction, according to those who know massive creative adjustments coming to the New Day. Now, we talked about this earlier, but again, here's a massive change. Here is a monumental change as it concerns the New Day. Now, again, we never thought the New Day would have lasted a couple of months, never mind all these years later. And what happened to a massive Raw star, a horrific injury that happened during the WWE Royal Rumble? Now, there's already a lot of injuries on the road to WrestleMania 40, and there's a lot of different things that people are getting worried about. Not only this old Vince McMahon vendetta, but of course, is the WWE trying to cover up what is going on here with this old Vince McMahon? Triple H doesn't want to address it. Triple H doesn't want to bring it up. Triple H doesn't want to bring to it, and that's probably in the best interest of the WWE. But speaking about best interest, listen to this one, guys. Naomi thanks TNA following WWE turn at the 2024 Royal Rumble. Also, breaking news for the Elimination Chamber. Again, Braun Breaker took over for Brock Lesnar. Braun Breaker was the replacement for Brock Lesnar. Braun Breaker was in the Royal Rumble for Brock Lesnar. Now, uh, reportedly, Dominic Mysterio was going to be the one to eliminate Brock Lesnar. And then at the Elimination Chamber in a one-on-one -on -one match, it would have been Dominic Mysterio versus Brock Lesnar at the Chamber. Now it's going to be Braun Breaker versus Dominic Mysterio at the Elimination Chamber instead. Now, I don't know what kind of booking decision that would have been to have Dominic Mysterio go against Brock Lesnar. I guess there's been rumors and speculation of a Dominic Mysterio face turn. Yes, can you believe that? And a Brock Lesnar transitioning and keeping his heel persona because as we all know, when Brock Lesnar went against Cody, uh, Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar was the heel, the bad guy in that match. So now Braun Breaker is just taking over for everything that Brock Lesnar would have done. And there's no word on if Brock Lesnar will return or if he will ever return again, especially with all the conflict, all the controversy, and, um, you know, all the, the gossip that is happening about Brock Lesnar and, you know, all the, um, well, all, all the acquisitions that are going on, right? I mean, obviously Brock Lesnar was going to come back, but those plans got reshuffled. And speaking about plans going in a completely different direction, guys, we already know on the road to WrestleMania, Seth Rollins was going to compete at the Royal Rumble. He was going to defend his world championship, the fighting world champion that he is. But as we all know, Seth Rollins got canceled. Uh, he got removed from a match at the Royal Rumble. He had plans. The rumor was that at the Royal Rumble, it was going to be Rollins against Jinder Mahal in a rematch. But as the world saw, that did not happen as Rollins is hurt. He's injured. He may have to go under the knife. Now, that would not be too nice. But now, guys, breaking news. The same person that was going to be at WrestleMania, CM Punk, reportedly injured again. Now, here's the thing. This is all speculative, okay? And I will update you if there's anything new, so I don't want any death threats because, you know, if I get something wrong or if the dirt sheets get it wrong, everybody comes to me and says, damn witch hunt. Oh, Sean, you got it wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm saying. No. Listen, that's why we do multiple videos a day. The word is that, Seth, that, that uh, CM Punk has suffered a some sort of arm injury, arm tear, Something to do with the shoulder or the arm. Something in that sequence. So now you got Rollins going around with a bum knee. Rollins, uh, Seth C CM Punk has a bad arm or, or elbow or shoulder. Something between here and here, guys. Again, uh, details are shady at this time. But if it's as significant as the rumors say, CM Punk could be out for some nine months. But 
before he goes out and has surgery, he could wrestle one more match, and they would have to save CM Punk for WrestleMania if Rollins could go. So now imagine this, a match between Rollins and CM Punk, one of the most anticipated matches in the last decade, and now both Rollins and CM Punk are injured going into the road to WrestleMania. Obviously, this is not a good thing. This is a very bad thing. This is not remarkable. This is not what you want to see, what you want to read, or what you want to hear. But it is exactly what is going on right before our very eyes. Rollins and CM Punk are both dealing with some significant or heinous or horrific injuries on the road to WrestleMania. And this is not something the WWE need again. Always on the road to WrestleMania, there's a lot of roadblocks. There's a lot of detours. There's a lot of swerves. There's a lot of curves. Maybe even a Russo swerve. But ladies and gentlemen, what I'm giving to you is not absurd. We give you the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive, the most defined. And yes, there is a rumor that Mr. Kennedy will make his illustrious return to the WWE. Now, you got to wonder if CM Punk and Rollins can't make it for WrestleMania. If for some reason something freakish come happens that they can't wrestle. Who is going to replace that match? Well, Brock Lesnar was going to be a replacement, but Brock Lesnar obviously can't wrestle. He can't go. So now we're talking replacements, guys. We are talking about replacements. What will be the foundation of WrestleMania? Can you really have a WrestleMania now without a Rollins and a CM Punk? Well, Sean, there's been WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania without CM Punk. Of course they can do it. Yeah, but now his dance partner, Seth Rollins, is also on the shelf. So what is the WWE's answer going to be to that? Well, if Rollins and CM Punk can't go and can't wrestle at the Showcase of Immortals, that is why there is rumors that it will be Rhodes reigns for the title at WrestleMania with Seth Rollins in a triple threat match where Rollins won't have to do a lot of the work. Rollins can lay low. Rollins doesn't have to go all out. Again, that is why there is rumors and speculations of a star-studded first time ever one Triple threat match, one undisputed champion at the end of the day. Yes, you heard right, guys. One triple threat match, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins for the strap, for the title. And if that goes down, that is really going to shake them down. Now, let me tell you, do you love... All right, again, I'm not singer. This is not the orchestra. This isn't the opera. This isn't B101. This isn't your favorite rock or oldie station. This isn't Taylor Swift. This is Sean's View Entertainment. Hell, this ain't Raw. This ain't SmackDown. This is not even NXT. This is the brash and the brazen, and we give it to you as it's meant to be, in real time, all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your reactions, your comments. Remember to become a channel member today. And if it's not brash, you know it's absolute trash. Later.